Hi YouTube, it's Lena. And Brian. And we are here today with the Heat Hot Sauce Hot Sauce of the Month Club. Yeah, I know I talked about possibly canceling it. I missed the cancel date and it renews for six months at a time, so it's gonna be it's boring. not going away anytime soon. Well you were thinking of more just like pausing it for a few months while we moved and right. whatnot. But it ain't going away anytime soon. Anyways, I'm actually just, I am almost positive that for the three a month that we get, if you buy it month by month, it is $27.99 a month. I have put it in enough times that I'm starting to remember it. I, I think we get a slight discount because we buy it six months at a time, though. I'm sure you do. There'd be no other reason to buy it six months at a time. Other than just buy, getting the thing out of the That's the second or third time in a row that's happened. I keep forgetting every time. Oh, oh this, this month it came with a nice little card explaining the Scoville heat unit scale. Well, why don't you explain that one? Well, the Scoville scale is, it ranks how hot uh, the average of a particular type of pepper is. Like your, your banana peppers are somewhere between 0 and 500. Your jalapenos are between 2,500 and 5,000. You know, your ghost peppers are between 850,000 and a million. Your Carolina Reapers are between 1.2 and 2.2 million. It's, so that's, yeah, I mean, so there's this major multiplicative effect in how spicy things get. Okay, so it looks like we've got, in theory, two mellow ones and a ghost pepper. Who knows? But yeah, Scoville scale. It's useful. Not really, because very few sauces actually give you their Scoville. Well, if you know the peppers that are inside of it, it can right. at least give you an idea. Anyways. First, we have the Pex Peppers Mellow Mango, and I don't think we've gotten anything from them before. I don't recognize them. How mellow is the mango? Relatively mellow. The their card, instead of like, you know, one big card, they give you three little business cards that all have a little heat index on them. They are usually fairly accurate, but sometimes they are not. They do lie occasionally. They do lie occasionally. A brand new sauce from Pex Peppers, Mellow Mango is reminiscent of the chili covered dried mangoes, but in sauce form. It features, what? Chili covered dried mango? Must be a delicacy somewhere. I'm not aware of. It features chili de, de arbols and pueblo chiles. Try it on fish tacos, pizza, or mixed in with fruit salad. Yeah. Stop trying to make me put hot sauce on stuff that's sweet. Definitely smells a little bit mangoey. It definitely smells sweet. Oh. Oh, that is a demon. That's just gross. I mean, it just tastes like mango juice with chili pepper in it. Like, it's just gross. It's horrific. <laughs> That's terrible. There is no salt. All of the acid comes in the form of mango flavoring. That's, that's gross. That just went in the garbage can. That's gross. Well, that was horrible. <laughs> Next is Siete Traditional Hot Sauce. Logo's really cool looking. At least it's a traditional hot sauce. <laughs> An ode to a traditional Mexican table sauce with a unique set of ingredients like flax, chia seeds, and golden beads. A blend of jalapeno and boya chiles. Give it a moderate kick and apple cider vinegar provides a tangy flavor. Delicious on quesadillas, tacos, or huevos rancheros. Huevos rancheros. Because you have to say it that way. Well, yeah. Otherwise you're saying Huvos Rancheros? No, you have to put the flair on it. Huevos Rancheros. It's very peppery, that's what gave me the twitch. But it's good though, it just... It's pretty good. Could use a little more salt to be a traditional hot sauce. It's got plenty of salt though, honestly. To it, make it palatable. To make it palatable, yeah. Uh, but no, it's, it's good. Um, well, they said there were weird ingredients like beets and stuff in it. I don't really get any of that. It kind of just tastes like a, 
grenade. Normal sauce. If anything, there's maybe a more black pepper in it. Than yeah, your there's definitely sauce. like a black pepper hit in there. But uh, it's good. It's good. I'll, I'll definitely find some uses for that one. I'll just eat that one. Well, drink away. I, don't know. I mean, more like put it like on pizza or something. Eat it. Not necessarily just glug glug. Anyways, finally we have uh, Infinity Sauces. Ghost Mo and Ghost Monkey. Ghost Monkey. A multiple award winning sauce that features ghost peppers without being overwhelmingly spicy. Peaches provide a sweet note and mustard brings it together. I'm gonna hate this. Delicious added to salad dressings or on pulled pork sandwiches. They say put it on pork, it must be sweet. Generally, well, it also they said they had peaches in it. But last one we did, they had two peach sauces. They were actually both pretty good. You just can't, Very thin. I just can't imagine peaches and mustard tasting good together. I could be wrong. It's very, very thin. That's interesting. Hmm. It's got salt. Yeah, that's interesting. It's got some spice. It almost tastes like uh, some of those sauces that they try to go with the Caribbean ones. It's got weird spices in it. But not in a bad but way. But not in a bad way. Because most of the time those are really sweet and have not enough salt in them. But this is that in a good way. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Probably not. It's pretty decent. It's good. Um, I could definitely find uses where it. it's very thin. Really, really thin. Like, that bitch is water. Should probably be one of the ones that has the little stopper at the top, but it doesn't. So it's gonna be mm. one of those you have to pour carefully. Um, we know what you hated. Um, I would actually call the last one uh, the better of the, the two that I didn't just despise entirely. Yeah, I like this yet a little more. That's because the other one burns a little more. So yeah, the ghost monkey's definitely the hottest of the three. But honestly, none of them were just fire. Couldn't fire. Fire. Do, do, do. Yeah, none of, none of them were the crazy world of Arthur Brown's fire. They have no idea what you're talking about. But they might look it up now. They might. Anyways, that feels super short, but it I'm used to does. doing like multiples of these in one video. See, that's the thing. We're used to doing at least six bottles. <laughs> and we're actually, this is the only one we're caught up on. This is the only thing that we're actually. We still got another Japan crate to go. There's another film. Japan crate to go. This is where I actually caught up. This is the only hot sauce box we had in the house, so go us. But uh, I don't know when we're going to get to film April's. Cause we're, yeah, we're moving somewhere in early April, so who knows. We also are traveling for a wedding in mid-April, so yeah. anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, we do really appreciate it, and hopefully we will see you later. Bye!